Hey, hello, y'all. Welcome back to my show. Thank you for clicking to watch. Today we're going to talk about the uh, Leatherman Skeletal KB and the KBX. The difference is the KBX has a uh, semi serrated portion, the KB is straight. Um, I would prefer the KB, but they didn't have it when I ordered. I got the KBX. So, what it is, it's a small skeletal knife. It's basically, here I have the full one right here, I have the camera, because I wasn't prepared properly. This is the uh, regular Leatherman skeletal. It's, uh, you know, your uh, pliers, needle nose, wire cutters. You have a, a screwdriver with the uh, replaceable bits. You have a bit storage on this arm. There's a little, as you guys can see. There's a, and there, there's a little bit storage where you just push it up and you can fit it in. You have a carabiner bottle opener and a knife. So this is the same blade as this. This is basically the arm base without the screwdriver of course but it would have been kind of neat if you did get the screwdriver on here now that I think of it but hey you don't so what you get here is the knife and a bottle opener which I don't know if the camera would focus on it but there's a little marker there and you can use this little tab as a bottle opener and it's part of the uh, pocket clip design so I got this knife because while well, I wanted a small minimalistic knife that's really cheap, these are like 20 or 30 bucks all over the place. If I lose it, I'm not down too much. It's a knife that I can throw in a pocket when I'm going someplace where I don't really want to carry a big knife. So it's a nice little knife. It served really well. I have a lot of friends who have this knife and enjoy it very much. So let's see its uh, cutting performance going to try cutting I'm going to start with this um, string here it's about uh, a centimeter in diameter I'm just gonna do a few uh, cuts now that was with the serrated part which is pretty good for cutting ropes there you go cuts it not that bad pretty easy that's with the uh, about a centimeter rope I'm going to try some uh, paracord. This is 550 paracord. Okay, with these serrations very easily. And without the serrations on the regular, also pretty nice. So it's a good. Uh, knife now have a uh, cardboard box here I'm just gonna stick it in and cut very lightly as you can see cuts really well um, I have here some thick uh, thick plastic this is actually I don't know how thick it is it's about two millimeters a millimeter and a half thick Okay, a little struggles with it, but it that's it. And then if you use these serrations, it's even easier. So. Cuts it really well. Put that to the side. I have here a you know, plastic container. Pierces it really well. A little wiggle and totally in now I've had this knife for about I would say about a year now and I've never sharpened it so it's still in the original sharpness I'm going to try the uh, paper test y'all might recognize this type of a paper as a fax machine paper you know with the uh, holes that you can pull out
If you don't recognize it as fax machine paper, talk to your parents, they will. As you say. Cuts really nicely. Okay, it's ripping. Now I'm being careful because it does have a semi serrated. The serrated part is a cheat on this type because of course it will cut well. But as you see, it cuts really well and pierces paper really nicely. All right, y'all. So my final thoughts about this knife. It's a good knife. Keeps its sharpness very well, even though it's not very high-end steel. It's what I think 428C. Uh, but it's a good knife. Keep sharp. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed the show. Please like, share, subscribe. And I'll catch you all on another day.